Hi, my name is Dr. Dayanand, consultant nephrologist and transplant physician. I'm practicing at Nano Hospital, Uttarali, Bangalore. TKD, per se, we say when there is irreversible component is there. The most com- cause is diabetes kidney disease. We can call it diabetic kidney disease. So, TKD has been uh, divided into five stages. In early stages like stage 1 to 2 or moderate CKD, that is stage 3 and 4 or advanced CKD is stage 5. So, in earlier stages, if we implement certain preventive measures, it can be slowed down, the progression can be slowed down and the progression to the end stage or advanced kidney disease in which they require dialysis can be delayed. How can we prevent this kidney disease? Few treatment options like medical management are there, so we have to cut down on the sugar. So we'll, those who are hypertensive, they are at risk of progression of kidney disease, so we'll have to Reduce salt intake, it should be less than 4 grams per day. So the next thing is control of blood sugar and other like control of protein intake. So in moderate to severe CKD, we have to reduce the, our protein intake so that as to prevent the progression of the kidney disease. And there should be adequate calorie intake and cessation of smoking and daily exercise. These and implementing proper diet. So diet should consist of adequate amount of salt sugar intake, calorie intake, protein intake. So if we implement the adequate dietary measures, so the progression can be delayed. And medical management, like control of blood pressure, blood sugar, all this can be done through the medication. And along with this, if we have to delay the progression of the CKD, then we have to take care of the anemia, which is a part and parcel of the CKD, and mineral bone status, they, they will have at risk of osteoporosis, bone fractures. So these things can be managed medically. Despite these, the few patients, they can progress to the end stage. So then what are the treatment options in end stage kidney disease? The, in end stage kidney disease, end stage we say when the cumulative GFR is less than 10 ml per minute. So when we say if that both kidneys put together functioning less than 10%. So in that conditions, it is called end stage renal disease. So the in the end stage renal disease, patients will require renal replacement therapy. That means they will be will not be able to sustain if do not receive any kind of renal replacement therapy. The renal replacement therapy can be in terms of dialysis or renal transplantation. So dialysis basically means it is cleansing our blood. So dialysis can be done in two ways, that is one hemodialysis, something called peritoneal dialysis. So hemodialysis is a process where the blood is taken out from our body through fistulas or catheters. It is passed through a machine called hemodialysis machine and the hemodialysis machine filters the waste materials and after filtering the blood is again returned back to our body. So it requires patient to visit the hospital every week three times at least or sometimes two or three times a week so it involves a lot of cost is involved and patient has to come every session for hospital so it will add up to the quality of life in terms of other modality which i spoke is peritoneal dialysis in peritoneal dialysis so there uh, will uh, through a surgery will place a peritoneal dialysis catheter so it can be done at home so through this catheter we instill some special fluid called peritoneal dialysis fluid which contains higher sugar content so this helps to remove the toxin material from our abdomen once the, this fluid goes into our abdomen it comes in contact with the peritoneum on the other side of the peritoneum you have blood capillaries which have toxin materials and the other side of the peritoneum in the abdomen cavity we have pd fluid which through osmosis the clearance will happen and it will help to reduce the uh, toxin level in our body which is better for hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis so it is not like both are complementary to each other in certain special situations like if the patient has cardiac disease or if they are not tolerating di- hemodialysis well in those conditions we can prefer peritoneal dialysis or if the patient has uh, active life they if they are uh, has work, go to work every day then in condition we can prefer peritoneal dialysis as it can be done at home at convenience of the patient In peritoneal dialysis we have uh, CAPD means patient or some caretaker has to do manual exchanges or there is automated PD as I spoke uh, there are other modalities like dialysis and renal transplantation if you ask me which is the best modality for uh, patient with chronic kidney disease certainly it is renal transplantation Renal transplantation is a process wherein kidney is transplanted to a patient. 
so it can be a deceased donor kidney that means if someone has died due to some unavoidable circumstances due to accident or some cve the kidney from the donor will be explanted and transplanted to the suitable donor and one more is the live donor donation which means a certain family member can donate kidney to the patient so the quality of life compared to hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis is much better in renal transplantation as they do not have to come for dialysis to they have to hospital they will have lesser hospital visits and they may not require any form of dialysis so in a way renal transplantation is much better option for patient with chronic kidney disease